brothers and sisters, we start by defining a mortal sin. What is a mortal sin? Mortal sin is a grievous offense against the law of God. Why is this kind of sin called mortal? This sin is called mortal because it deprives us of spiritual life, which is sanctifying grace and brings everlasting death and damnation on the soul. How many things are necessary to make a sin mortal? To make a sin mortal, three things are necessary. A grievous matter, sufficient reflection, and full consent of the will. What do we mean by grievous matter with regard to sin? By grievous matter with regard to sin, we mean that the thought, word, or deed by which mortal sin is committed must be either very bad in itself or severely prohibited and therefore sufficient to make a mortal sin if we deliberately yield to it. What is anti-Semitism? Anti-Semitism is considered to be hatred toward Jews individually and as a group that can be attributed to the Jewish religion and or ethnicity. Is hatred a mortal sin? The Word of God says, If any man say, I love God, and hateth his brother, he is a liar. For he that loveth not his brother, whom he seeth, how can he love God, whom he seeth not? Therefore, if anti-Semitism is a form of racial or religious hatred, and hatred against a brother, a fellow human being made in the image and likeness of God is a grievous matter, then anti-Semitism is a mortal sin. The Catholic Church condemns anti-Semitism. Furthermore, in her rejection of every persecution against any man, the Church, mindful of the patrimony she shares with the Jews, and moved not by political reasons, but by the gospel spiritual love the Christ hatred, persecutions, displays of anti-Semitism directed against Jews at any time and by anyone. Those in mortal sin should not approach the Holy Eucharist because they will be drinking or eating their own condemnation. Those poor souls that have fallen into the sin of anti-Semitism must confess it as soon as possible for the good of their own souls. Let us not deceive ourselves. Those who hate the Jewish people or attack their individual or group dignity or disparage, denigrate or defame their honor or their beliefs or who advocate their suppression, assimilation, or separation on account of their ethnicity or religion, sin mortally against God and against man. Those who sin in this way need to repent, change their hearts and their minds, confess their sins, do penance, and repair the consequences of their sin of anti-Semitism. Let us pray for their repentance and healing. Amen.